Force we're live. Force Awakens. We are live. The, the live video has awoken. Anyway, hi, my name's Craig. This is episode seven of the Midtown Comics live show. Today, I am joined with Midtown Comics Times Square employee, Charles. How's it going, Charles? Good, good. Everything is good. Comics are awesome. Everything is going well. The weather, perfect time to oh, wow. read your comics today yeah. if you're on, uh, if you're in the Northeast here. <laughs> Just started down pouring. Yep. Okay, cool. So let's start this week by talking about our favorite new comics. So what do you have? All righty. Uh, to kick things off, I'm going to start out with Star Wars number 30. This arc has been really, really, really cool. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but if you're reading this book, you know that Ben Kenobi left behind a journal. And in this journal, he's telling a story about an old master. He's never named in the book, but we know him as Master Yoda. And this is a really cool throwback. It's called Yoda's Secret War. This is the finale to it. Definitely check it out. Uh, I think it started in issue 25, um, six-parter, I believe. It's a fantastic storyline. Definitely check it out. All right. Uh, I, next on my list, we'll wait for that one because we're talking about that a little later. But next on my list is Nightwing. Uh, any Grant Morrison, Batman, and Robin fans, the, the Damian Wayne, the Dick Grayson dynamic. Best dynamic duo. Exactly. It is back in full force right here, as you can see. It's even got Professor Pig in the background and a giant cliffhanger that made me uh, just geek out, fanboy out. Uh, I freaked out. If you liked that run, you're going to love this. It's basically Batman and Robin Part 2. He's just Nightwing now. Um, and we're going to talk about this a little bit later, but it is one of my picks. It is Injustice Ground Zero number 9. And what's cool about this is that it's actually kind of filling in some of the blanks that the campaign from the first game left out. So where was Barbara Gordon on that alternate Earth? Uh, why does Harley Quinn drop the Joker so quick? Well, you'll find out right here. Uh, it answers a lot of, you know, fills in a lot of the characters that were later added as DLC or were announced for Injustice 2. Uh, it's filling in where they were during the main conflict of the first game. So it's really cool. Uh, definitely get it if you're a fan of the games and like that story. It's a cool, cool addition to the collection. Did you read the first five years as well? Absolutely, I did, yeah. Uh, great series there. Tom Taylor did the first uh, three, right? And then Brian Bucolato? Uh, two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half, and uh, and they were all just great. It's it's crazy this, the amount of stuff they can get away with. with uh, uh, you killed Chip, man. Yeah, Elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so friggin' Sinestro put Hal, uh, not Hal Jordan, uh, Kyle Rayner in, in a bubble. That was brutal. That was the most brutal thing. I just remember reading that yeah. going, I don't think I want to read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did because I was hooked. Uh, it's fantastic. Those are in trades now, so mm -hmm. definitely get those. Yeah, the awesome thing about that series and Tom Ta Taylor's writing in particular is he can do some really, really dark and terrible and yeah. stuff that just makes you want to cry and drop your jaw and just <laughs> let the moment resonate and like did that really happen kind of like with you and Kyle Rayner what happened <laughs> to him but then he also has these moments that just lift you up and make you smile and feel good I mean like the uh, Green Arrow and Harley Quinn dynamic in those yeah, comics those are yeah. so good or the issue of Superman a look into the past when he just helps a kid with his bicycle yeah. you know and there's also another issue where I think not a single punch is thrown where Superman has a game of chess with the flash I don't know if you recall yeah, that yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's just a great series. And then there's uh, humorous moments like Detective Chimp and Batman sitting in the back <laughs> of Constantine's cab. And that's just a really funny image. And that, that particular moment just always sticks out with me. That's in year three. Yeah, Zandu sign on the door. Yeah. Just read the comic so you know what we're talking about. Read it. It's very good. Okay, cool. So those are Charles' picks. Um, I, v was supposed to be on today. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Some other matters came up. Uh, but his picks... Or Batman 20, which is the conclusion of I Am Bane. This is written by Tom King, illustrated by David Finch, inks by Danny Mickey, and colored by Jordi Belair. Uh, it, there are no more tricks, no more elaborate plots, none of that. It's just Batman versus Bane. Who's going to be standing after a brawl? Bane's on Venom, but he also just plowed through like all of Arkham Asylum. He fought a bunch of villains in the last issue, just obliterated all of them. And Batman, he's Batman. So... Who are you rooting for in that fight? Ah, uh, well, uh, Batman all the way. I, I do love Bane, but I mean Batman's a constant. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. John behind the camera's room for Batman as well. Shameless plug time. 
uh, blog.midtowncomics.com. Uh, we wrote about the best Batman versus Bane fights to celebrate this issue. They've fought at least a handful of times in the past, so we highlight each of them, talk about what makes them unique, as well as list who actually won those fights. Obviously, Batman has uh, the winning ratio so far. They have two stalemates, though, so mm. not sure if most people knew that. But you, oh, Actually, is it three stalemates? You'll have to read to find out. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> That is one of these pick. He also recommended the new James Bond, uh, the second issue, as well as there's a Legion collection. He also wanted to give some love to the show on FX. I watched the first episode. I thought it was great. I've been meaning to catch up. It's just very time-consuming. Have you been watching Legion? I have not yet. I have not yet. I just caught up with uh, all of the DCW shows okay. uh, last night, um, and I, I have yet to dive into Legion, but I sure. definitely fully plan on doing so because yeah. TV and comics, man. It's a match made in heaven. Legends of Tomorrow just wrapped up, right? Yeah, yes it did. Yes it did. Actually, that's the one that I have not caught up with. I'm about uh, four episodes behind on that, but okay. Flash, Supergirl, Arrow. I Zombie came back uh, the other night, so that was fun. All right, cool. Yeah. And another one of these picks are one of the comics I'm also going to give love to, so you'll see that in a moment. But up first, a uh, comic I adore, Superman, issue number 20. This is uh, co-written, actually, by Peter J. Tomasi and Pat Gleason. Pat Gleason also does the pencils. What, what, you have the Kents and the Wayne sitting at a table eating pie. <laughs> and believe it or not, Batman investigating a cow. It sounds ridiculous, but in context, it's actually really good. This creative team is solid. They do such a great job with uh, the, you know, the two biggest characters from DC. Wonder Woman is obviously the third biggest. Uh, arguably the second right now, I'd say. I'd say yeah. it probably goes Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman. At this yeah, yeah, definitely. The 75th anniversary is happening right now. Uh, all this new awesome content is just flooding, uh, and it's it's great. It's wonderful. Speaking of, we got these in. Wonder Woman movie pop. Speaking of Wonder Woman herself. There's also a Wonder Woman statue up there, based on Gal Gadot's version of the character. Yeah, we have a lot of collectibles here in the store. And we will uh, actually talk a little bit later about sales going on. But Ooh. Superman 20, it's the start of a new arc. It features Batman and Robin, as well as Superman, Lois Lane, and uh, their son, Superboy, who is an adorable and super lovable character. And Your then, dad doesn't like pie? Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite moments. And if you're not reading Super Sons, please check that out. That's that's also yeah. incredible. Written by Peter J. Tomasi, illustrated by Jorge Jimenez. It's just the feel-good book of the year for me so far. Two issues in, and I'm saying that. It's not hyperbolic <laughs> at all. Uh, and then V and I both love Iron Fist number two. Uh, the best way to describe this is Danny Rand has lost his connection to the Iron Fist. He's no, He no longer has his chi, but he's still an amazing fighter. And now he's going to essentially play Mortal Kombat. He's going to an island to fight a bunch of champions. There's an island where they have, I believe, seven different houses of different variations of Kung Fu, and he is going to fight each champion. And each champion he battles, he can absorb a little bit of their chi. He's going to fight Ms. Marvel. He's going to fight Young Cyclops. He's going to fight Totally Awesome Hulk. Wait. Armless Tiger Man is in there as well. Wrong champions, right? <laughs> wrong, wrong champions? Oh, okay. My, my bad, my bad. Do you, do you want to give some love to champions? Uh, yeah, issue seven is out this week. Uh, it's really fun. Um, getting up to all sorts of shenanigans, those kids, and hopefully not fighting Iron Fist. I don't think that would end well for any of them. <laughs> They're a little inexperienced. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe. But I mean, yeah, I actually kind of want to see that now. Yeah, make it happen, Mark Wade. Yeah, but anyway, Iron Fist two. If you want to see a kung fu tournament featuring Iron Fist, there you go. It's a no-brainer. And then last and definitely not least, start of a new story arc, all new Wolverine, as well as a new costume. And the justification for the new costume is pretty funny. Uh, it makes perfect sense. I I'm going to spoil it. It's not like a big plot point. Uh, it's basically Gabby, who is... I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Okay, uh, just in case you're behind and you want to read the book. Gabby, who is, let's say, Wolverine's sidekick, her ally, says, why aren't you wearing a bulletproof costume? You know, just because Wolverine has been tanking bullets all these years and dealing with the pain doesn't mean you have to as well. You're smarter than that. Come on. So X-23, she's still awesome, and now she's featured with a uh, bulletproof suit. So just because you can heal doesn't mean you want to have to heal. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I... I've never been shot, luckily, but I think that would suck. Yeah. yeah. Like, and if I could avoid it, I would. Yeah. Like, for example, you know you can survive being punched in the face. It doesn't mean you want to be punched in the face. No. 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 That's not fun at all. No. It doesn't sound fun at all. Yeah. Let's not find out. 
No. 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 The Town Comics does not condone punching in the face. Not at all. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> So anyway, all new Wolverine 19, start of a brand new story arc. Very fun. Also written by Tom Taylor. Ah, yeah. There you go. So now let's use the back of a DC comic to go to our next conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. A yes. brand new animated movie currently available on iTunes. But why get it on iTunes when you could just pre-order it at MidtownComics.com? <laughs> but seriously though you watched it the other day yes, I did. Yes, I what'd did. you I think it, uh, i watched it on my xbox it, i actually uh justice league dark was one of my favorite animated projects that they did uh over the last couple of years and this one i think in my opinion is even better i think they nail the dynamics 100 percent between the characters there's lots of humor it does get dark uh if you've ever read the judas contract there is a moment in there that you go oh they did that they kept that in Gross. All right, uh, what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, no spoilers if you haven't, but it's it, a definitive Deathstroke story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so definitely, um, they're not afraid to uh, <laughs> to push the envelope on that, but they also keep it lighthearted and fun and serious when it needs to be. Um, it's yeah, it's great. The action sequences are fantastic. Some of the fight scenes are really well choreographed. Um, definitely, definitely worth checking out uh, on the. Blu-ray, which I guess you can order. Which is currently available on our website, midtowncomics.com. Seriously, though, there's the DVD, the Blu-ray, and the collector's edition, which has a Blue Beetle figurine. I'm probably going to yes. get that one. Yeah. So one thing I'm worrying, uh, wondering about, in Son of Batman, it ends with Deathstroke basically dying. I mean, to think he survived that scenario. S some suspension to disbelief. Is that addressed in this, or is it just like, hey, people, Deathstroke? Uh, it is. It is addressed. Okay. And if you know who... Damien's grandfather is, okay. it may or may not just give you the answer 100% right there. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. so th that's a very simple way to reintroduce yeah. the character. As long as he's done right, that's all I care about. Mm -hmm. The voice is a little more grizzled. It's definitely like he's been through some stuff. Uh, he's got a big old gray goatee now, which is dope. Um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely addressed. Definitely addressed. Okay, so. very cool. So Teen Titans to Judas Contract, I believe it comes out in uh, two weeks, the physical copies, that is. Currently available on iTunes, but don't go that way. Get the actual physical, yeah, tangible don't, copy don't from the like Town Comics. Works here. Yes, don't do that. He's he's double dipping. <laughs> I am. He's, he's I obviously I double do. dipping, people. He's do. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like these animated things a lot. <laughs> so it's real. It's real. I'll be getting that Blu-ray on the day. So. so so you do strongly recommend it, though? I do. I do most definitely recommend this movie, uh, especially if uh, for some reason you haven't been a fan of the last couple of years of movies. Definitely check out Justice League Dark and this movie. It'll uh, just completely renew your faith in the projects. Um, great voice acting, great animation. I'm excited to see what they got next because cool. it's been real good. Yeah, and Justice League Dark, which you mentioned, was the most recent before that animated yes. movie, which we do still have in stock. And that, uh, if you buy the collector's edition, has a Constantine, or excuse me, Constantine yeah. action figure. Not action figure, a collectible. So, yeah, two uh, great movies in a row, it sounds like, from DC Animated. Yeah, yeah, I would 100% say that. Okay. And real quick, Attack on Titan is back. Season 2 has finally started. Uh, I watched it on Hulu. Um, I, do you watch it? I don't recall. I, I do not, but uh, I hear it is fantastic. I hear with some of the twists and turns that it's on par with uh, the likes of Game of Thrones I've heard. That might be hyperbole, but that's what I've heard. <laughs> it was secondhand, uh, but it, I hear it's fantastic. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to awesome action and a lot of questions never being answered, which I know a lot of people rip on the show for, but I still enjoy it anyway. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, up after that is Invincible. There's going to be an Invincible movie. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so excited I'm coughing. Uh, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg there behind Preacher. Uh, it's very likely going to be rated R. I don't know how it couldn't be. It's going to yeah. be universal as well. Some of those some of those Ryan Otley spreads, you just go, yeah, that's, that's R-rated for sure. There's an eyeball there. <laughs> so, the eyeball so, should not be there. <laughs> so what was your immediate reaction to this news? Uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to get that story out to a, a wider audience. I'm I'm not caught up. Admittedly, I'm about a hundred issues behind. I've read the first uh, two 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 and a half years of the book. Um, I have the compendiums. I'm about halfway through the first one, uh, and it takes those classic superhero tropes, turns them on their head, 180, maybe comes back sometimes, and then you're just uh, like left on a this is whirlwind, this uh, thrill ride of a book. Um, and I'm excited to to see it kind of presented to the masses in uh in a movie form because i think it's gonna blow some minds it's it's just a crazy book twists and turns talk about twists and turns and questions 
constant in Invincible. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with uh, Preacher. I'm, I'm not sure if you've been following that on AMC. Again, another one I'm behind on. That's all right. Yeah, confession time. <laughs> when you work Wait, in Midtown, grab me, John, behind the uh, camera. When you work in Midtown <laughs> Comics, you follow so much at once, so it, it's very easy to fall behind on certain things. I mean, how many comics do you think you're currently reading? Uh, way too many. Yeah. Uh, I, or, well, I don't think there's a such thing as reading way too many comics. Let's just say uh, I have a lot. <laughs> the reading pile continues to grow. Yes, so yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, up next, we're going to very briefly talk about Injustice 2. A new trailer came out this morning. Well, what is it called? Shattered Alliances Part 4. Part four. It focuses on the society, the villains uniting to cause even more trouble, as if Brainiac wasn't enough. You have uh, Deadshot, I think Poison Ivy, Gorilla Grodd. So what do you think about that trailer? Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited with each one of these uh, Shattered Alliance videos they put out. Um, it's just answering... Well, it's not really answering any questions. It's just kind of presenting the scenario and asking all the questions so you get the answers when you play the game. Uh, slowly re uh, uh, revealing the roster, the character roster. Um, I'm look at Reverse Flash this time. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, so we he's did. Just an alternate costume, but still. Was there Scarecrow yes. footage I and, saw and in yes. there? What I like about that is they reveal Scarecrow is just regular Scarecrow, but other people see him as that because you. <coughs> Excuse me. He releases fear gas when the match begins, so that's why he looks oh. that scary. That is just way too cool. Uh, unfairly cool. Um, <laughs> way too stoked for this game. Yeah. And uh, Captain Cold was also revealed. Yeah, he's yeah. he he was previously revealed, but you get to see more of him now, yeah, which yeah, is cool. Ga yeah. Gameplay footage. Gameplay yeah. footage. I Even should clarify. Mm -hmm. uh, Poison Ivy as well. It just. It looks awesome. I mean, if you enjoy fighting games with your friends, if you enjoyed the first one or at Faith in Nether Realm Studios, yeah. it, it's it's a day one purchase for me. Uh, I'm a little. I hope they don't abuse microtransactions. <laughs> Please don't take advantage of me, Nether Realm, because I really want to yeah. play this. And, yeah. yeah, they're they're already they're already getting that hundred dollar version out of me. So <laughs> same here. No shame. No shame. We'll be there together. <laughs> Showing <laughs> all the DLC characters right away instead of waiting for the ultimate mega edition, will be, which will be like half the price a year from now. Yeah. But who has patience? Yeah. I mean, I want to play the game right away. Patience, gross. <laughs> I want it right now. <laughs> so when Injustice 2 comes out, we'll be playing, we'll be talking about it. Um, but for now, I want to talk about sales that are going on. Uh, right here in Times Square, we have a back issue sale, 40% off all back issues. It's until the 11th. Yes, there we go. It's a beautiful flyer. It is exciting. Yes. <laughs> Brought the thunder. But yeah, 40% off. Um, I, I'm gonna, we're going to get a little tech savvy here. John, do you have the ability to turn the camera to show people the amazing selection of back issues that we have? Or is this whole video just going to fall apart now? Oh, check it out. We have rotating. We have rotation. And it's a good rotation. It is. Very clean, very smooth. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, this is just half, not even half of the back issues selection because there's another row up here and then there's even more downstairs. 40% off all back issues, Midtown Comics, Times Square until the 11th. And online, we currently have two sales going on. One of them is up to 40% off all statues. That is an incredible sale. So all the statues that you see behind me, if they're online, they're probably on sale up to 40% off. That is incredible. I kind of want to go browse and see what's available. Yeah, John also <laughs> wants to. <laughs> have you bought any statues? That, uh, do you have any in your collection or busts? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I have um, quite a few of the bombshells, like the first five they released. Um, I have some of the, um, oh, I don't think we have any in here. The uh, I have the Platinum Cover Girl because I'm a big fan of uh, the Metal Men, and they don't make a lot of merch for the Metal Men, so I have that. Jeff Johns like likes them, so there's a chance for them on the big screen one day. Yeah, Maybe you yeah. never know. You never just, know. Just throw throw them on Legends. Throw them on Legends <laughs> of Tomorrow. You know that that's kind of the. Hey, I don't know if these characters can can sustain their own show. Let's throw them all on a team. Put the Metal Man in there, man. Give me a two episode arc with the Metal Man. I'll be the happiest dude you ever see. <laughs> I, I love the animated bus. I have the Batman, the animated series, yeah. uh, Bane animated bus. I love that Green Arrow animated bus over there from Justice League Unlimited. Uh, one day, I will add that to my collection. One day. But uh, for now, also want to remind everyone, Five Points Festival is coming to New York City this May. It's a brand new comic book convention, May 20th, May 21st. That's a Saturday and Sunday. We will have a booth there, and we will also have an awesome signing schedule. Scott Snyder. 
Greg Capullo, Dan Slott, Nick Spencer, Mike Hawthorne, Matthew Rosenberg. Uh, am I forgetting anyone? My friend. Yes, your friend. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in case you haven't watched it yet, Charles here does a great impression of the Netflix version of Kingpin. Um, there are two videos of you him wouldn't talking. You wouldn't be able to tell with the, with the beard here and the, the things. Yeah. They're currently. <laughs> the hairs. That's the word. The hairs. Yes. The hairs. All the hairs. All the hairs. Um, <laughs> there are two videos currently of him interviewing uh, Kingpin writer Matthew Rosenberg about Wilson Fisk himself. So be sure to watch those. And Five Points Festival tickets, you can get those by coming to any Midtown Comics location. Maybe wait until it stops raining and then come over. But uh, Times Square, Downtown, Grand Central, you can buy tickets there. Or you can buy them online. Check out our blog, blog.midtowncomics.com. We will have a link in there. And in addition to that, next Friday, not tomorrow, but the next Friday, which is, I believe, the 14th. Is that correct? Yes, John is nodding. The 14th is correct. Fred Van Lente will be at Midtown Comics downtown to celebrate the comic he's writing, Deadpool versus Punisher number one. He'll be there from 6 to 8 if you want to go show up early. Midtown Comics downtown is located at 64 Fulton Street. Deadpool versus Punisher, who are you rooting for? Oh, man, I, uh, I don't. I don't know how that's going to go. I'm like, oh, well, Punisher, he's got the, I don't, mm, nope. Deadpool's got the, uh, mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss for this one. I am at the, uh, mm phase. I'm not sure who's going to win. Yeah. If Deadpool was serious business, no jokes, I, I'd have all my money on him. But that's probably not the case. He's not in character like that too often. He'll probably be goofing around, messing with Frank. And this definitely isn't the first time they fought either. So you can check out, see if maybe there are back issues available of, um, you know, their fight. I know uh, I'm trying to recall the limited series, uh, Deadpool Suicide Kings. That's what it's called. I don't know if we have the back issues here. We may or may not, but definitely try to find it. Uh, Charles, is there anything else you would like to say to all the people watching on Facebook Live? You guys rock. Thanks for tuning in. Midtown Comics, 40% off. Woo. I second what he said. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Take care. Final word. Bye. Was that awkward enough? I hope so.